Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft RTX video. Today we're taking a look at another shader pack and this one is called Shaderless Shaders and it's made by Mr. Fishy and if you've seen my previous video before about how to install Minecraft RTX for Windows 10 you would know that I did use Mr. Fishy's wonderful shader pack in that one. This is made by the same guy and it, it is quite similar to that one to the wonderful shader pack that was in alpha stage and this one looks more complete and as you can see I am using the ray tracing elements turned on I'll just quickly show you my options settings video as you can see ray tracing has been turned on over here so we're quickly going to check out this shader pack and then I'm going to show you how to install it and get it running on your Minecraft for Windows 10 also known as Minecraft Bedrock World all right, let's start off. As you can see, we have some glass here. Uh, we, we can see some reflections going on here. Let me just change the time. There we go. So this is quite similar to the vanilla RTX pack, but I do think this is a hybrid where the water has changed. The ores might not be glowing as much as we hope for. So you would have to get another add-on for that. There are other glowing or add-on packs that you can put on top of this one if you wanted to. If you have a look at Kelly's RTX pack, there is some glowing or add-ons you can download for this. But yeah, as you can see, the lava there looks quite nice. And we've got the uh, glow there on the uh, tiles there. The glass does look uh, like the vanilla glass would look like. You can see some reflection of the, uh, the torch there on the glass. Alright, let's change it to daytime now. And yeah, as similar to the wonderful shader pack by Mr. Fisher, you can see that the sun's reflection on the, uh, the green bit there. It's quite reflective so some of you might like this some of you might not like this it's all down to personal preference I do like it I think it makes it interesting it changes the game how it looks it's quite cool and the water as always looks really amazing I do like the Sun's reflection in the water there let's jump in and take a look as well as you can see the uh, rays going on coming in from the Sun there looks really nice Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to actually install this and get it running and how you can create your own survival world using the shader pack. Now, before we continue, you will require a Minecraft for Windows 10 full account. If you're in any of the uh, beta trial versions of Minecraft for Windows 10, please do make sure that you're unenrolled from those and you're running the full game and you actually own a Microsoft account as well for Minecraft. And also do make sure that your graphics card can actually support RTX. Otherwise, if you go into your settings and then the video options, you'll see over here that the ray tracing slider cannot be ticked. It will be grayed out so you won't be able to select it like this. All right, so to download this, all you need to do is open up your internet browser. In the search box, just type in shaderless shader. Hopefully that will bring up the, uh, the first link there that we need to go to, which is this one. You need to go to the website, which is mcpedl.com, and it'll have the shaderless shader link there. Just click on that. And as you can see, this is made by MX Fishy. And if we scroll down, the one we need to get is this one. It, which is the shaderless shader plus ray tracing build to MC pack. So let's click on that. It will take us to a Mediafire link. Let's start downloading this now. All right, so as you can see, I've downloaded the file and I've placed it on my desktop. So this is the file shaderless shader plus ray tracing build to .mc pack. 
And the good thing about these shader packs is all you need to do is just double click on these. It will start to import it and then it will say successfully imported shaderless shader into your system. And it's as simple as that basically guys. That's all you have to do. And now to enable it, what we do is we go into the settings, scroll down to where it says global resources, click on my packs. And as you can see, I've got shaderless shader here. If you click on this and click on activate and then if you click on the active section here, you'll see it already has the Minecraft texture pack here that's selected. You can't deactivate this, so this is the only one that should be showing for you. If you did want to uninstall this and delete it from the system, you can't do it from here. You have to scroll down to here where it says storage, click on resource packs, and then find where it says shaderless shader, and then click on this bin icon here, and it's that easy. Okay, now let's go and create a new survival world. Let's click on play. One thing I did notice is that the background has changed to white, so don't be worried about that. It does load into the game, it's just the background doesn't load there. Click on play, click on create new, create new world. Let's choose survival, let's do peaceful for now. I'm going to put always day there. Alright, let's create this. wait for this to load and you, as you can see the, the logo there did say Minecraft RTX and we are now in the world and as you can see there is reflection down the water so you can tell that the RTX has been enabled here it looks really cool I do like the design that MX Fishy goes for and the reflective surfaces as well. I do like that. I, I do know that some people don't like the clouds in his texture packs. They look quite basic, so do bear that in mind. But I think this is quite close to the vanilla pack as well. With a bit more reflective surfaces. It does have those reflective surfaces going on, as you can see. The trees do look quite nice as well. So yeah, if you guys found this video useful, please do give us a like. If you have any comments about this pack, if you like it or if you don't like it, if you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, please do subscribe to this channel to help it grow, help support it. And I hope you guys have a really nice day and I'll see you guys next time.